Swirl makes it very easy to create recursive components. Uh, recursive components are those that call themselves or include themselves as their own children. Uh, a very common example is a tree component. And Swell provides Swell colon self tag to include a component inside itself. Obviously, it will not allow you to just infinitely recurse within a component. So you have to uh, you put that in some kind of a condition each for each loop, etc. Um, so that the recursion does end and uh, does have a terminating condition at some point. So let's dive into it. We will create a custom tree component in Swelt using Swelt colon self. We will also show you some other tricks uh, around, um, around passing context, etc. So let's get started. All right, so here's the basic, uh, this is Swelt.dev uh, REPL with the basic hello world example already in place. So first thing we will do is remove all this and we will start by creating a second component. So, and we will call it tree and then import that import tree, tree um, from tree dot swell. Okay. And then we will instantiate the tree component, obviously. Um, so that's the very basic, okay? So, oh, I forgot to say dot slash. All right, so here we will create a ULLI kind of tree. So, and um, a list like this, right? So it will have children and those children will be rendered. But, and the one thing we have to do is also a label. And the label can be several, but I will just say put label. And then inside that label, we will put whatever pa was passed in as label. And inside the UL, oh, we'll get to the UL in a second. Let's, let's start by creating label. Now, what we are going to do is we could, we could just do this, export let label, right? We could do it like this and then pass in the label here as label is equal to my tree. So I did that and now on the right hand side as you can see I have the tree called with the label equal to my tree which is this label. Uh, now we want to create children for this right so let's give it another property called children equal to and we will give children let's say one, two, three. Now, of course, uh, my mistake, I shouldn't have made this an object. This should be an array. So, oh, sorry. So let's make it an array. So that's an array. Now, so label property is a plain string. Children property is an array of strings. So we can just I'm, I'm tr starting very basic, so each, uh, oh, I have to declare children, export let children. And you could give it a default value of empty array if you want. Uh, it'll make, it'll handle the edge cases when you don't have children, so. So each children as child, and then close that each and instantiate list item for each of those. And then we can just say print child as the content of the, of the list item. So here you got a basic tree, but this is not a tree really, because a tree is something that has uh, several levels, more than, more than one at least, right? At this point we are seeing pretty much one. Uh, okay, so to, to handle that, we will pass in, we cannot do this anymore. Uh, we have to combine the label and children into a single um, single variable, I guess. So here, so we say create tree, const tree is equal to, and then we pass in 
label is my tree and children is this array. So let's copy and paste this array. Okay. And uh, so we got the tree and then we will pass in tree as tree. Now you don't have to actually do all this uh, if the name of the property and the name of the variable is same you just do this right um, and back in here we will destructure label and, and children from the tree so we just say export let tree which becomes the public property and then destructure so we can say uh, const label and tree destructured from Oh, sorry, label and children be structured from tree. And there you go. We have the tree on the right. And this time we combine those two properties into one. Now, why did we do that? Well, you'll see very soon because we are going to now start recursing. So, you know, instead of mentioning each child like this, what we should do is pass in. Uh, one more thing we have to do is rather than um, passing children as array of strings, it, they have to be array of objects, which means each one has a label. So we just say label one and we can start repeating these. Sorry, label. Okay, so now we can start repeating them after we close the array. Okay, so we're getting to the recursive part in a second, but first uh, we say child dot label. So once I do that, I got to get my original tree back. This is better structured though. But this is the point at which we introduce recursion. So let's recurse. We basically just use swell colon self. Self swell colon swell uh, self is a is a special tag. It basically ref allows the component to call itself or instantiate itself. So this is the tree component, and now the tree component is calling itself. So I'm going to say yes, instantiate self, swell colon self, and then pass in tree as the tree property as the child. So now, so swell colon swell self, tree is child, and the tree as label and children. Um, and here we are getting an error, cannot read property length of undefined. Why? Because when it is trying to uh, recurse and then render its own children, it's coming up short, it's coming up as empty. So that's why you basically uh, put put this under an if condition. If children are present, then only try to render them. So now this thing is working again. Okay. Oh, sorry, I forgot to wrap this in li. So, there you go. We are back at the original thing. But this is not as simple, uh, is not, uh, is more, more interesting than it looks because you can now create children under this. Children of one. And these will be, this will be an array, of course. And then the children are themselves something with labels. So you could say label is equal to one, say one, and then let's just repeat this property a few times, and this object a few times. I forgot to put comma, and make this one, two, one, three, one, four, and on the right, as you can see, now 
we have a tree. Good. So we could replace this with, uh, let's say, I have some data ready to go here. Uh, let's see if I say, copy and paste this. So I got, okay, here we go. So I got uh, country USA at the top level uh, parent of the tree and then label is Florida. Uh, at the second level, child is Florida, label Florida. And then, so the country and then the state and um, we will get back to this one in a second. Uh, state and cities, Jacksonville, Orlando, Miami, another state is California, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Sacramento, all these things are showing up. This is good, this is good, right? So uh, let me just uh, make sure that you understand this, that swell, colon swell uh, self basically allows you to, uh, allow the component to recurse into itself. Okay, now that we have this, we, this is this alone is not enough, we have to, be able to do something with uh, with the tree. So one of the things that you do is typically with the tree is expand and collapse. So what we could do is we could say, hey, uh, let's keep a variable called expand, expand it, right? And let it default to true so that it's, you know, it shows the children. So we say, if children, um, oh, so do not show the UL if you are not supposed to be expanded. Actually, we could we could even not show UL if you have no children. So let's move that if outside. Okay, and now we can rename rename the code. So another thing is, if you don't have children, then there is nothing to show under child. But also, if you're expanded. So show this only if you are expanded, which means if there was a way for us to expand or collapse the, the tree, we would be able to handle that. So, so let's put a click handler on the label. So if we say on click of the label, just uh, toggle expanded. Expanded is equal to not expanded. All right, so let's see how that changes anything. There you go. I'm clicking on Florida and it is uh, collapsing or expanding. Of course, there is nothing to expand or collapse in cities because there is nothing, there are no children. If there were children, then if I um, click on USA, so all the children disappear. So that's expanded or collapsed. Uh, another thing you might want to do is show a different uh, style so we'll do something very simple and not too complicated. We just say, hey, whenever the something is expanded, show them in blue. Otherwise collapsed, show them in red. So let's do that. It's pretty straightforward. All you do is class colon expanded. And now it's going to have, um, so and if we show the color, we say p dot expanded color blue. So now, let's see some CSS selector, seven colon one. Something is not quite right. Uh, unused, okay, that's fine. So the problem is class expanded needs to, oh, did we misspell something? Class colon expanded, and this is, Expanded. Hmm. Let's see if I say it is equal to expanded. It is still saying unused. P dot. Oh, sorry. It shouldn't be p dot. My bad. So the problem is not here. The problem is in expanded. So rather than saying p dot, I, I just say expanded. So now these are all expanded. If I click on them, they become black or whatever. So, so if to, to enhance the effect, let's say class colon collapsed is equal to not expanded, right? 
and now we can say dark collapsed is color red so now if I click on them they get collapsed and they turn red so when they're collapsed they're red so this is uh, something you might do but there is something even more significant that typically people want to do in a tree component which is when the leaf nodes or any node for that matter is actually clipped we want to be able to perform some action I don't know what action but some action right so here is um, so, so let's say you want to navigate to some place or something like that so let's create a function in the parent called function on click if we right and then it takes some some kind of a context let's call it uh, you know receiver that's the the thing that you clicked on and the context for it so we just say console dot log receiver well let's say a tree clicked and then we print the receiver okay so let's pass this in as a function as a handler so on tree on click so remember I'm not using on colon click the the DOM event just here yet so I'm saying on click pass in on click now of course this is not going to actually do anything because there's no one here expecting an on click handler so let's add that say export let on click okay so now when somebody clicks this we should uh, we should do two things well, one is we should uh, click expanded and all that we should toggle expanded and the second thing we should do uh, is so let's uh, since we are doing two things let's uh, separate it out into its own function so here we go into the script and say function click handler and what it's going to do is it's going to um, of course it's going to toggle expanded just like this case here and it's also going to call if if you have on click handler specified then call it but call it with the current components free call it with free as a as the receiver okay so this is important this is going to be important when when we get into it um, so now when we create the children we do the same exact thing which is we say on click is equal to on click as an expression you don't have to actually do that because you can simply uh, omit the property name when property name and the variable value its expression are same which is exactly what you can do here as well you don't need to specify this off property name just like we did for tree so now uh, we have on click being being uh, called when uh, on click is not null oh we should probably because in, there will be scenarios when we are not specifying it let's just say the default value of on click is null which means there's nothing to do okay don't uh, don't call the my on click handler so let's see if this works at all let's expand the console okay so this was uh, tree was created without expected prop on click well I hope that's clear now let's clear it and if I now click on this it's not working okay so I do need the on click handler present so click handler oh so here's the problem yes this is the issue this is broken so let's fix that <laughs> so yeah click handler now I think we should have something let's check uh, we click on Florida and look it has a complete the receiver object uh, so it's hard to see here so let me just uh, run the inspect window and if I go into console you'll be able to see it better 
So when I click on Florida, the entire, okay, let me see if I can expand this. Um, yes. So you see, when you clicked on Florida, the entire tree under Florida is included, including the children. If you click on Jacksonville, for example, let's uh, scroll to the bottom, click on Jacksonville, and here is label equal to Jacksonville. So now what can you do with it? Well, you can make Jacksonville the active city in that situation, but it gets better. You can actually add other information along with it. So for example, you wanted to send the user to some URL, let's say, yes, then you can add a new property called href and say HTTPS, say spinspire.com, which is the company based in Jacksonville, number one web development company. How about that? Uh, you could uh, click say on Orlando and then you say href, uh, I don't know, Disney's based there, so let's say uh, HTTPS Disney.com. I'm just making stuff up. So now when somebody clicks on, on Jacksonville, not only they, the label is included, Jacksonville, but it's corresponding data, the context that is included in the receiver. And now you can potentially make them navigate to that. Or uh, you click on Orlando and then there's a different HRA. So that means the click handler that you're passing in can do uh, more than just this click handler here. It's just logging, but it could potentially, you know, send the user, you know, go to some, I mean, Swelt has go to, you know, it could send them to the HRA, you know, but I'm not gonna do that. So this is uh, how you would uh, create a Swelt uh, component, a recursive one, um, usually like in this case, the tree component, but I'm sure you can think of more interesting things about um, uh, to do with this, right? And this tree components can have uh, custom functionality and that, that only you can imagine. So I hope you learned something um, how to create a recursive component and how to add context to various uh, event handlers. See you in the next video.